morning everybody so I'm actually already outdoor I just left my hotel I woke up at 7 a.m. this morning which is pretty good but I also slept like an hour later than my usual for the past few days and I was working this morning like all morning until 8 something and then I had to take a shower so right now it's about 8 30 I'm heading out for breakfast because I have an appointment at 10 I have a spa appointment really excited for that one like a body massage and a body body scrub I believe uh, and a foot scrub so it'd be really nice and so I have that at 9 in Gangnam so I'm heading there uh, right after I eat breakfast right now I have about half an hour I think it takes me like 45 minutes to get there so yeah so I'll see you later So you guys, I think that was probably the best massage and spa experience I've ever been to. It was, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what I told you in terms of what the spa came with because I purchased that like two or three weeks ago and I wasn't really sure um, because I was going through a, different, a lot of different options and I forgot which one it was exactly that I had chosen other than like obviously I knew the name of the spa but I forgot like which package I chose it and I knew that it was about two and a half hours long and I knew that something there was a foot related thing and there was a body massage so other than that I kind of was just no idea and I thought I had gotten a facial but then now that I think of it I think I remembered that I didn't want a facial because I had just gotten a facial back in New York right before I purchased the package and I remember that someone told me that uh, you're not supposed to get a facial like more than like it has to be at least four weeks so at that point I was like it's not gonna be four weeks so I just didn't opt for a facial and so what happened was that I go inside and they gave me this tea it is a red ginseng tea oh my god that tea was so good I don't like I don't know if they put some sugar in it or something but that was the best tea I've ever had and then after that they gave they put me into the massage uh, that was a really nice massage oh my god that was so good and and then after that it was um, a hair uh, like a like a scalp massage. So I thought it would just be like a like a head massage, but it was way more than that because they actually washed my hair and shampooed it and conditioned it. So now my hair's gonna be squeaky clean because I already showered this morning and shampooed my hair, and I have a hair appointment later. And I know they're gonna shampoo my hair again. So my hair is gonna be washed three times today. So it's gonna be squeaky clean. <laughs> I don't know if my hair would like me for that though. But right now my hair feels really nice. They put some like hair essence and hair tonic in it, so it feels really really nice. And and, uh, smooth so anyways yeah like afterward they gave me some more tea uh, <laughs> they really like their tea and they gave me some like free free like little snacks and stuff to t uh, eat with the tea so that was really nice but anyway so now I'm like trying to find the location of the bus so I'm gonna look for that and I'll talk to you guys later <laughs> experience of a success but the one thing you have to be careful about though is that they don't actually follow the routes this happened when I was with the guy on Sunday but he was like this never happens before but just now it happened the same way where it will be like they tell me on Google Maps that it goes this route but then um, it didn't go that route but I mean thankfully it still ended up the same place so I'm not sure why it went a different route but I, I do have Google Maps and I know that Google Maps doesn't really work that well here so perhaps it's just because it's Google Maps and it's not super updated uh, whereas if you use Neighbor which is what they use here it's probably a bit more accurate so thankfully at least it went the same place I'm trying to go to 
but uh, yeah that was kind of I was like uh, I hope it goes the same place because <laughs> I was a little worried for a second but yes yeah, so anyways I'm walking up to the hair salon now I'm like an hour early but I kind of want to see if they can accommodate me early because I'm actually meeting Jax who is my Korean friend in New York he's the one who actually taught me in uh, Korean and I'm meeting his cousin here for dinner so and he wants to meet in like the station that's all near Hongdae area and that's kind of far it's like 40 minutes 45 minutes by train so I'm hoping that they can accommodate me early that way I don't have to worry about time as much I don't think it'll be an issue to be honest for the most part but just in case you know anyway so yeah just going to the hair salon now gigantic I don't even know what it is to be honest but I've never seen this before this must be new I haven't been in this area for five years since the first time I came to Korea so this area is completely foreign to me and the place I was at earlier um, that I like kind of showed a clip of that earlier was the original place which is what I was expecting but I think today it's closed so womp womp whatever so I'm just gonna go well I'm wandering around right now but I'm thinking I'm gonna head back to that area that I'm gonna meet with uh, Jack's cousin because I think there's shopping to do in that area so I'm hoping to get some more shopping done because I want to get some hair essence and I still need to get a bag and I still need to get shoes so I have a lot of shopping to do and I'm leaving tomorrow so I'm kind of behind <laughs> this is what happens when you like don't plan things out except for your spa stuff that was the most important thing and then I realized I had other things I had to do so that was great so I decided to come back to home day because there's a shop here that I really wanted to get uh, to come back to because there's something in there that I really wanted to get and it's called butter So this is what I want to get. They're super cute. Look how cute this is. It's like a cat's one. We have these too, but I think these are cuter. And they have a bunch of ones down here as well. Like I think these are supposed to be frogs. I don't know. But these are super cute. So I'm going to get one of this for sure. Yeah. for a few hours I think I left you guys not really sure where I, when the last time I filmed <laughs> to be honest I think I was filming I think it was maybe when I was in Hongdae so I went Hongdae and I went more shopping I was like I don't have much time so I had maybe like 15 minutes I literally just dashed I didn't even film anything at all because I was in this hurry to get everything done and I was trying to purchase some hair essence because I feel like I needed some and I tried to purchase them online a while back ago but they were sold out so now that I was here I remembered suddenly that I wanted to get some hair essence because this morning at the spa she put some in my hair and it's like it feels so nice at the ends right now it's kind of like an additional uh, conditioner but it's like a leave-on conditioner or a leave-in conditioner whatever it's called but I think it works really well. So I got some and then I got some hair essence and hair mist, I think. Like, or hair oil. So I got two products that I think would help with. Because I feel like the biggest problem with my hair is the ends are always very dry. Even though, like, I have oily hair. I don't know. Like, it's really strange, I think. But anyway, so I got that. Moving on. So I bought a lot of stuff. I bought, like, a bag. 
um, that I wanted to get and I wanted I also purchased a hair mask for my co-worker but anyways I'll just show you guys what I got today so I went to get more lenses because I really like uh, contact lenses the circle lenses I don't wear them very often because they're not really good for your eyes to be honest but I think if you wear them like once in a while like on a regular basis and I think it's fine so I got the Clallan Iris so I got this one in gray and they had a promotion oh no I got this in brown and they have a promotion right now where if, this, if you buy 30 you get 10 extra so it's 40 pieces total uh, so it's about technically 20, 20 pairs so I got this and this was like 30,000 I think which is like 30 less than 30 bucks which is not bad for 20 days worth of contact lenses that you can um, use whenever and it expires like years later like two or three years later so it's really good in terms of if you want to you know space it out or whatever so anyways the second one I got is one I already have I think I finished it though this is called Secrets Secrets and this is in coral gray. They have a natural gray and then they have a coral gray This is the one that I'm wearing right now and I really like this one actually it's like a dark gray color It's not super intense and it's kind of natural looking just like a hint of gray tinge to your eyes So the next pile of things I got is from It's skin. It's It's a brand. I think it's kind of new ish. It's not I mean, it's not super new. It's been out for a few years, but I don't think it was really popular back in the day or I don't really remember it when I first came to Korea like five or six years ago. But this is the one where I got the hair essence mist. And hopefully it'll like, yeah. So this is what I got. Um, I'm glad, I'm like, the reason why I'm really got, glad for this one is because there's actually English directions in the back. So I don't have to worry about trying to translate things. Because a lot of the stuff sometimes don't have any English in the back or only the ones in America. So the U.S. stores have it, but the ones here doesn't, which I mean makes sense, but this one did. So I'm really glad for that. So this one is uh, essentially just like ultra moisturizing. It's like an essence mist and it just conditions the hair for a daytime glow. So this one I got, I'm pretty excited for this one. I don't remember how much this one was. I think it was like 8,000 won. Then I also purchased Oh, I purchased this one. So this one is Le Romantic Perfume. It's a moisture serum and it's also for hair. It's uh, essentially, this is one that's the leave-on conditioner, I believe. So I don't know, this looks really pretty and it's supposed to smell like rose petals, like rose extract or something. So, And the good thing about Korea is they always love their one plus one deals. So obviously I got one plus one face mask again. Probably will share it with my coworker probably because she wants face masks. She said lots and lots of face masks. Or probably give some to my other coworker. But I got the avocado one, which is for high nutrition. The avocado one's really good actually. I feel like it does really well. And the aloe, which is like moisturizing and calming. Honestly, I think these two are the best in terms of in general like if you just want something moisturizing, you want something like kind of nutritious and calming because sometimes a lot of the stuff are like toning or like brightening, but I don't really see a difference really. I feel like it doesn't really affect me that much. So, and the comp, like the aloe one especially, is super like nice when you just want something kind of relaxing. And then obviously, I got some more face masks because I was really curious about this one. So, I got this Color Solution Green Blood Mask. I'm not really sure what to expect. At first, I thought maybe it was the powder and then you had to make your own because right now they do have the clay mask, but it didn't look like one. And the back, it shows that it's an actual sheet mask. So, I'm assuming it's just a sheet mask, but it's supposed to be for soothing. And then I got collagen because you know you can never get too much college you can never you can never get too much collagen yes i was correct the first time <laughs> and then of course korea loves their samples and the guy gave me a lot of samples he gave me two different packs of samples or two different sets of samples he gave me the hydra uh, packed and then he gave me the glow pack so basically he was just like one is for each both both uh sets are the day cream and then there's a serum and then there's a night cream so you just have to basically follow it and it's really simple so and it comes in English which is great I think this one's very catered towards foreigners <laughs> 
So the next item I got is one I already showed you guys. It's the hairband. This one's super cute. It's like less than 4,000 won. And it's basically just put this over your head when you want to put a face mask on. So your the hair around your face doesn't get in the way of the face mask. So sometimes I feel like I do it and there's like hair all over, which is the worst. And then the last item I got is the one that I got from my co-worker. If this bag opens, it's the one that's like too cool for school. I thought this bag is kind of cute. And it's an egg base treatment, which I think my co-worker will like. So it's an egg remedy hair pack. Um, I asked her, she said it's for all hair and you can use it for dry hair or wet hair. But she says it's better if you use it for wet hair and then you rinse it and it's like really good. So at least that's what I'm assuming she said because she spoke it in Korean and I was just like uh-huh uh-huh. But from what I understood from what she said and my really limited Korean, if you use it for wet hair and then you rinse it, it's the best result. But you can also use it for dry hair as well. So at least that's what she said. And yeah, so it's supposed to be like for damaged hair. So if your hair is like super dry or something, it's supposed to be really good for you. And my coworker said that her hair is really dry, really damaged. So hopefully this one's good for her. So anyways, after I went to all of this shopping, I basically rushed off to meet with my friend Jack's cousin. So we had Korean barbecue because he asked me what I wanted. And I was like, I haven't had Korean barbecue on this trip yet. So... I do want to get that while I'm here. And he's like, okay, so we went to that area, Mapo. And then it turns out he's actually like a foodie. So he showed me this Google map of all the foods he wants to go to or all the ones he's been to. I forget what he said. And it was literally like covered with like pins <laughs> on Google map. I was like, wow, okay. So I guess he was like doing some good research and he has done and has gone to many, many restaurants in Korea. He's like, next time you come, Stephanie, I'll take you to like, you know, these type of restaurants. And I'm like, okay, like, sounds good. But yeah, so it was really fun. He brought his brother along to his younger brother, but he was nice too. Everyone, they're both very nice. And we had this like, um, soju but not really soju it was like a different version of it it was really good it was actually kind of sweet so before i finish this video since this is still a booktube channel i thought i should share you with you guys what i am currently reading on this trip i bought two i brought two books and i'm kind of a little worried about not finishing either of them maybe the first one because i came here with about like a quarter of it done but i still have a quarter left and that is bonfire by chris and ritter it's good. It's a little bit different than what I had anticipated, mainly because I was expecting um, it to be like a mystery. I mean, it is a mystery, but I thought it'd be like a thriller mystery, whereas this one seems to be more about like an environmental and how if someone, if a company is trying to... Um, if they're like damaging the environment around them, if they're causing the people there to become sick, as opposed to this game that I thought was implied in the synopsis. So it's a little bit different than what I expected. It's still good, but different. Less suspenseful, I think, is what I would say. But yeah, so I'm currently reading this one. I'm hoping I finish this in the next day or two though, so at least I can pick up the other book, which is Little Fires Everywhere. So that way I can hopefully finish both books but right now it does not seem like it's gonna happen because i've been here like three days already and i barely put a dent to this book so hopefully we'll see how it happens so anyways that's all i had to say for my trip to korea this is the last day i'm here i'm flying out tomorrow morning ish yeah like 8 a.m like i'm leaving 8 a.m i'm flying flights at like 10 or 10 30 or something like that so this is all i have to say or this is the last video that i'll be doing in korea not sure when i'm going to post these because i have to edit and i did take a lot of footage in terms of like time lapses and like you know all those little like location footages because i was like i don't really know i want to make sure like there's transition between you know i go when i go from one to a place point a to point b so that is all I have to say for this video. If you like more of these travel vlogs, let me know in the comments below because I'm anticipating if I should do more of these when I do travel more because I do travel pretty often. I don't always feel like carrying a camera with me, but if you guys like these videos, let me know in the comments below. I'll try to do more travel vlogs 
um, as well my bookish content as usual. So let me know. And if you like this video, please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe down to my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's it for today, guys. Thank you. Bye.